Hey guys, this is Apple Hunter 274 and today I'm going to be updating my Mac Tips and Tricks video for OS X Lion. First of all, before we start this video, I want to apologize for not uh, making videos for a long time. I should have done this a lot sooner, but I plan on making them more frequently, starting with this one. So uh, let's get started. So the first um, one I'm going to show you is uh, concerns fonts. So uh, if you want to add an accented character, so if I want an accented A, I just hold down the A and that list pops up. So you can either press the button uh, number displayed below it. So if I press 8, then the A with the line over it shows up. Or I can just use my cursor to go click it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That'll work with um, any letter that has an accent. So E, yeah. So also another thing is in any uh, application, you can go into the edit menu and go to special characters. And now they have emoji. So you can just take it and drag it into whatever you're working on. And there'll be emoji in it now. So all this emoji and um, they have a ton of stuff like math symbols. Um, so yeah, this will be pretty, uh, it's not too useful, but, uh, for the occasional use, it's pretty good and very easy to use, so, it's good to know. The next few tips I'm going to show you have to do with gestures. So I want you to go into System Preferences, uh, go to Trackpad, and I want you to check every single option available. So, after you've done that, now you can get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you, as you all know, uh, four fingers up takes you into mission control. So you can go from desktop to desktop by moving four fingers sideways. So this is my desktop one. I just opened a lot of uh, windows in it so you can see um, how this really works. And um, so you, you can just do that. And then also really neat thing so if I have a lot of uh, Google Chrome windows open but I want to get to a specific one so I have apple.com open youtube.com open and Google so I want to get, get to Google I'm not sure which one it is you go, scroll scroll over above uh, Google Chrome and take two fingers and swipe up it expands Google Chrome so you can see all three windows very clearly and I can go to the specific one I want so you can this works with any anything so I can go to pages and uh, so I can see all of them expanded so I can pick exactly the one I want so that's very neat and um, now I'd like to show you um, all the gestures that pertain to a browser so most of them work with Safari because Apple has built them into Safari. A few work with Chrome. So I'm going to go to Safari to show you first. So I'm on Apple.com right now. So if I go over to um, Google.com, I can now go back to Apple.com by, by putting three fingers left, which takes me back there. I can also, with this, now this gesture is the one that's new to Mac OS X line. You take two fingers and you slide to the right. And that kind of removes the Google Chrome. So this little cool animation that takes you back to Apple. Then you can also go the other way and it'll take you back to Google. So that's very cool. And um, another one is, uh, so you highlight any word in the browser and uh, you take three fingers and double tap on it and it will give you the definition of that word so a textbook is a book used as a standard work for the study of a particular subject it will also give you sources from extra websites such as Wikipedia so I go ahead and click on Wikipedia it then pulls up the Wikipedia article on textbooks so that's very neat and uh, it can be really useful I don't think that's on Chrome though the only one I've showed you so far that will work on Chrome is the three fingers back and forward. That will work perfectly fine on Chrome. So uh, that is pretty much it for the gestures. The ones I've showed you so far are mainly the gestures that people don't know. 
Um, there's a lot more, but I'm pretty sure most of you guys would know them. I don't want to waste everybody's time by going over them. But if you'd like a video on specifically gestures, just put that into the comments and I'll make it as soon as I can. Now I'd like to address some changes Apple has made to the Finder application. So one of the biggest annoying things they've done is um, they've removed the status bar at the bottom that tells you how much, uh, like the storage name and how much uh, free space is left. To get all that information, you have to go, you have to right click on it and press get info. So an easier way to uh, get all this information is you go over to view and then select show status bar. Now it just shows me eight items, 92.25 gigabyte available. It's that easy. So the next tip I'm gonna show you has to do with Spotlight. So in Spotlight now, you can search anything, and now if you press space over it, they will give you a preview. So I'm going to uh, show, I made a sample document for this video. So it's called Mac Tips Sample Doc. So if I go over it and I press space, then I have a preview of it. And uh, if it was longer, I could scroll down and up and I could see the entire document um, top to bottom. This worked from pages, anything really. Pages, Word, Keynote, all of that. They have previews, even videos. So I'll pull up the last video I made, which was the Steve Jobs tribute. Um, Steve Jobs tribute. And I just go press space over it. And I just go scroll over here and press play. And it uh, gives you the it gives you the preview of that video. So that's really cool. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you subscribe. Please comment and rate below. And also, forgot to tell you almost. Um, Apple is now giving developer previews for the new Mac OS X Mountain Lion, which is releasing this summer. I'll get a review on that as quick as possible, and I might even install the developer preview. And, uh, I also realized that this is the second time I'm making a Mac OS X Lion review. The other one, I have a link below in the description if you want to go check that out, too. So, uh, thanks for watching. Please, please subscribe, comment, and rate. Um, and I'll see you later, guys.